This is a quick video on how to become a PMP in 10 weeks time. So the whole program we have divided into 10 weeks. The first five weeks we will be focusing on predictive project management. Then week 6, 7 and 8, our focus will be on Agile project management and hybrid project management. Week 9, we will be concentrating on PIMBOK version 7, uh, the, the values, the principles, uh, the performance domains and the models, methods and artifacts in detail. Week 10, the focus is on exam practice. So now let me walk you through the details of the program in, in detail. Week 1, we start with the Introduction to Project Management Body of Knowledge version 7. Then we focus on uh, predictive project management. We uh, the whole training will be elaborated uh, based on the, uh, the process group model like initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and controlling and closing. We will use that model to explain predictive project management. Then project managers roles and responsibilities, then how to initiate a project professionally in scope definition and work breakdown structure. So this much we complete in week one. Then we move on to week two. Week two starts with bill of quantities, cost estimation, organization structures and their impact on project management. Then definition of projects, organization breakdown structure, definition of control accounts, project budgeting and project scheduling. Week 3, we focus on the quality aspects of projects, resourcing, communications, risk, procurement, and stakeholders' engagement. In week 4, we focus on project execution, how to manage knowledge, managing quality, team management, resource management, implementing risk responses, conduct procurements, and manage stakeholder engagement. Then in week five, the emphasis is on monitoring and controlling, and control scope, control schedule, control cost, control quality, control resources, monitor communications, monitor risk, control procurements, monitor stakeholder engagement. So here the key aspect is mastering earn value management and forecasting of cost as well as schedule. So with the five weeks, that is week one to week five, uh, we will cover the entire predictive project management in detail. And you might notice that, okay, now this is arranged in the logical flow of a project. Uh, first we understand the PIMBOK, then we get into initiation, then planning, then execution, then monitoring and controlling and closing. So it becomes easy to remember. Then in week six, we start focusing on agile project management. Uh, we start with what is agile, <coughs> sorry. An agile manifesto, principles, servant leadership, uh, agile chartering, roles and responsibilities. And it is always better to understand one framework in detail. So we explain the Scrum framework, which is the most popular among the agile frameworks in detail. Because unless you understand how, uh, how these, all these ceremonies and artifacts work together and to deliver the uh, 
the output incrementally it will become very difficult to answer the scenario based questions so instead of studying a lot of things yes we need to understand the jargons at the same time we should focus on we should understand how uh, an agile framework uh, works uh, and how it is planned how it is executed how it is monitored and uh, uh, what are the uh, information radiators used to monitor the progress uh, so those aspects will be covered under scrum which is the most popular uh, agile framework then in week seven we focus on product backlog user stories agile estimation release planning iteration planning velocity calculations execution that is uh, that is printing daily team meetings iteration reviews and iteration retrospectives in week 8 we focus on monitoring and controlling the agile projects uh, using burn down chart burn up charts cumulative flow diagrams uh, and how to scale agile in bigger teams and organizational change uh, how to manage the organizational change that is required for effective implementation of agile and we talk little bit about hybrid project management that is how to apply both agile and predictive project management best practices together uh, within a project uh, to make the project successful then in week 9 we'll have a detailed walkthrough of uh, pinbox 7 uh, values uh, the principles uh, uh, the performance uh, domains uh, and the uh, tailoring and the uh, methods uh, yeah methods and artifacts uh, models methods and artifacts uh, as defined in the PMBOK by the time we reach week 9 we would have covered almost 80 percentage of the PMBOK uh, 7 and whatever is not yet covered that will be covered during week 9 and week 10 is dedicated for exam focus and uh, practice exams and stuff like that so after completing this 10 weeks program uh, if you can spend another two weeks in primarily doing exam practice you'll be ready for the final exam so this is how it is uh, organized uh, if you want to know more about this program please click on the link provided at the description of this video um, and uh, that will take you to a page which gives more information about this 10-week uh, PMP plan and the associated training program thank you very much